All right, now initially I set out to do kind of an overall comprehensive approach to finishing on the lathe. Well, after I finished one bowl with some oil, I realized that that would have been too much. So in this video, I'm concentrating on completing uh, and finishing a walnut bowl with some oil. And I'm going to stop right there, but I'm going to do a series. I think maybe I'll do one on shellac and one on lacquer. Haven't decided totally, but stay tuned for that and it'll be a series. All right, now for some time I've been thinking about doing a video where I would simply show technique for applying finishes on the lathe. I'm not going to get into the chemistry about finishes, you know, what's shellac and lacquer and and all that kind of stuff. Um, I will show you examples of applying an oil, which I will do on this food server. Okay, it's a nice walnut bowl. And previously I put up a video showing how I made this. I'll put a link in the description, okay? And I'll show you the procedure I usually go through when I finish a bowl and I'm turning it and completing the inside and then reversing it and completing the bottom of it. My approach is to do as much on the lathe as you can. You know, we're wood turners. And you can certainly apply a finish off the lathe, but it's a lot easier to do it on the lathe. And one last note, I'm not going to do a lot of sanding, maybe just a little bit, or I will simply refer to, to sanding that I'm doing. All right, now let me bring you up to speed on what I've done so far. I've used my drill to do some power sanding, okay? 320 grit, and I think we're ready to do a little bit of finishing. I can always go back and look for imperfections. So I like to use a drill with a cord. I never have to worry about a battery. And I've got this uh, attached to my American Beauty down here, and I can just pick it up and go to town so the first thing I do is I'm going to put a little bit of blonde shellac on this. And I often do this partly because this wood is a little bit possibly green and still a little bit wet, so I want to seal it. And even though this is going to be a food server, I can put some shellac on there. I intend to put an oil as my final finish. And we'll get to that in a second. I promised that I would uh, show you the moisture content of this bowl, so let me just check this out. I'm going to just check this on a couple of different places. On the back side of this I've got uh, oh, right at 13% moisture content, and I'm using my sensor on this. This is a, a general uh, moisture meter MMD 900, MMD 900. And if I put my hand back here, it goes right to 100%. It's sensing the moisture in my hand. Um, I don't know if this surface here, let's try this right here, is flat enough. Yeah, I don't think so. The back side is a little bit flatter. I think I'm getting a better reading. So anyway, 13, 14%, and I think this uh, bowl is ready to finish and apply a finish. All right, now I had my dust collection hooked up here, so I'm gonna just take that away, get it out of the way. And I've just got that hooked around my uh, post on my tool rest. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of finish on this, starting with some shellac. Turn my lathe on slowly. And I'm going to just use a paper towel I've got my blonde shellac in a little dispenser. I'm 
trying not to get this all over the place and including me. There. Let's shut that off and see what we got. Very, very pretty piece of wood. All right, very nice. Look at that. It's a nice combination of heartwood and sapwood. And I'm going to put a little bit more shellac around the rim. Now what I will do, I'll let this dry and I will put some oil on here. This is just a lot easier. Maybe I'm just lazy, but I think this is <laughs> a lot easier to, to apply the finish this way. And this will probably really soak in there quite a bit. Now I have my water bottle here, okay? And previously what I had done to uh, get to this point was I, I, I sprayed some water on this and I kept it in a plastic bag. I've been working on this for, oh, three, four days. And just to make sure it didn't dry out and crack, I, I kept it moist, okay? And I've always got a water bottle nearby. All right, now I applied a couple coats of shellac on the inside of my bowl and it's pretty much dry. And what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to apply some doctor's wood shop microcrystalline bowl wax and I wanted an oil so I'm reading the uh, ingredients for this finish microcrystal wax bowl finishes unique blend of purified walnut oil and that's good enough for me okay I need to explain just briefly my approach for oils and how I define an oil well basically anything that you can thin with paint thinner or naphtha uh, to me is an oil. So we have walnut oil, tongue oil, linseed oil, uh, teak oil. There's a lot of oils out there. And I know some of you may not agree with that approach, how I define an oil, but that's my view of what an oil is, okay? And mineral oil, is that a finish? Well, not so much. I really feel if a finish needs to dry and have uh, uh, proper dryers mixed in there. Okay, it's got to be able to dry properly or polymerize to be a, a finish. That's my view. Okay, you don't have to agree with that. And the last thing I'll say about this particular project is I've got four lathes in my shop. I have the luxury of working on a piece on one lathe and maybe finishing it and applying a finish on that lathe and letting it sit and dry. Sometimes it's overnight, sometimes it's for a few hours. But this particular walnut bowl has a combination of shellac and finally an oil finish on top of that, probably five or six layers. So we got some walnut oil going on here and I'm gonna apply this the same way I did the shellac. And this is my procedure for finishing a bowl. I'm gonna have this completely finished or 90% finished and I can go back to it off the lathe and if I want to do just a little bit more. So I got a clean paper towel, shake up my, my wax finish. And I really, um, I've used all of this down to here, so I really like this. Uh, I use a lot of different finishes. I'm gonna just spread this on here. Now I suspect this finish is gonna take a while to dry. This is not exactly a friction polish or a, a shellac. So it may take an hour or two to get to the point where I can reverse this. 
If I reverse it now, I'm going to kind of mess up that finish. So I got it soaked on there pretty good. Let me bring you in a little bit closer. All right, now I brought you in a little bit closer and you can see I've, I've really soaked that surface with this, uh, this finish and it's very wet and that's okay. I'm going to let that soak in for half an hour, 45 minutes and then check it out. If it looks like it's dry in some places, I'll apply some more finish and then go on from there. Okay, so far I have this uh, inside of my bowl really uh, pretty much completed as far as the finishing. You can see it's still wet from my last application of this uh, oil. And I'm going to turn my lathe on. Take a dry paper towel and remove as much of the finish as I can before I reverse this. All right. And if I wait about five minutes, I can reverse that safely. Uh, it's a little bit wet, but that's okay. Now to review what I've got here. Shellac, uh, probably three coats of this walnut oil, and it's ready to go. I can always look at it later on and, and kind of... Uh, adjust the finish. I may want this a little shinier. I don't know, but I'm, I need to make that, uh, I need to let that dry completely. So let's take this off the lathe and reverse it. All right, now I'm still in the procedure for finishing the bottom of my bowl. I've sealed it with shellac and I've got a, a very uh, wet coat of that oil on there. And I'm going to wet sand this a little bit. And the reason for that is I had some really, really funky, kind of punky, funky, punky grain, let's call it. It wasn't really torn, but it was just kind of laying over on its side. And I thought, I'm going to stabilize this a little bit and just do a little bit of wet sanding on it and see if that helps. So I got some 220 grit sandpaper here. Okay, that feels a lot smoother. I'm going to continue with a little bit more wet sanding on this and we'll just about be finished with the, the finishing on this. I got to do a little bit of work on my foot. Okay, now I really didn't show you a lot as far as finishing the underside of this walnut bowl. It was pretty much what I did on the top side. Okay, uh, sanding, applying a little bit of shellac, and then several coats of the, uh, the oil. And that's it. So I'll show you some pictures here of the finished bowl. I'm really happy with it. It's a pretty bowl, and uh, it's a good combination of heartwood and sapwood. So I hope Bruce enjoys it. Thank you very much for tuning in and hit the like button and I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. It means a lot to my channel. So I'll talk to you next time. Thanks.